much feel that it, it's been a three year run uh, to even get to this day. Uh, and I said to you before, uh, the proudest thing is people understand there's a place for everybody. And, and that's what's represented with these, these eight players we have. Uh, the first one we talk about, uh, I, I don't even want to get into alphabetical order, but I think, okay, I'm looking at Dominique Ro Roland is right next to me. Uh, Dominique is going to Hampton University. Uh, gosh, I, I, privately in my heart, $27,000, a lot of money. And so uh, he is very excited about it. Hampton uh, is more excited about Virginia and uh, I look at him as an athlete. Uh, Mike London almost a son to me over years so I think that he will use his talents to play him where he wants to play uh, and Cal Dawkins in himself I think would be a, a, a great college football player. I think he's smart uh, and the most important thing on Cal is he listens and the worst thing about Cal is I got him to June to make sure that he does listen. <laughs> All right, that's a joke. Sir. Go ahead. <laughs> but that's a great opportunity for him, and, and uh, he committed before the season even starts, which, again, Virginia has a great recruiting class for the region. So you've got Hampton and Virginia both digging deep here and getting a lot of local kids. They want to win the championship. That's always a good thing about it. I like the campus, the dorms, the, uh, the weight room is pretty good. The athletic facilities, they were good too. Coaching staff, they're like a big family. And so it's like a great experience to be in. Fantastic. So good. Yeah, it's just uh, great for you to have uh, your family here and uh, be able to have it all figured out. And you got a partial scholarship there, right? Yes, sir. Great. opportunity to walk right in as a freshman and play as a uh, cornerback, defensive back, punt returner. And uh, and, and so the, the history there, you don't know much about the junior college world, 
but the junior college was a vehicle and a way to touch other dreams, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm very familiar with that walk. And KG, I'm just proud of him to be able to go. So, uh, you know, that, that I think he's going to be a great one. Uh, how about KJ? Tell me about the junior college opportunity and what that means. You, you there, KJ? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, how are you doing? So tell me a little bit about it. Tell me what you feel about it, what you think. I, mean, I think it's a good opportunity for me to uh, go across the world. So I've never been, been like, out of South Virginia like, for a long time. So like, I'm kind of nervous, though, because, you know, going by myself, but oh well. <laughs> Have you been to the gym? Uh, no, I'm going there soon, though. You're going, what, I'm sorry? I said I'm going there soon. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to go up there. Okay. And uh, well, how is, you said you haven't left the state of Virginia much. How's the idea of living away from home sitting with you? I mean, it's kind of nervous because I'm going alone, but it's the first time for everything, so I'll be all right. That's all right. That's all right. And uh, academically, they're going to put you in a position. You've talked to the coach, and you've, I guess you talked to their coach. Academically, they're going to set you up for uh, continuing your education after junior college. Yeah, yes, sir. Fantastic. Well, congratulations again on the commitment.